We are about to go onto a dirt road though, right here on the right. So I think it's gonna mess up here. Uh, this is definitely where I think it's gonna mess up. I'm glad it did rain a little bit, so it's a little bit less dusty. Oh, and we have a truck. Oh, that's not a truck. Yeah, the car, okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can get it to re-enable. Let's see, 15 seems like an appropriate speed. I am searching for our campsite. Basically, this is going to be a test of dirt roads, and then we're going to be done with this video. Oh, anyway, I think it did pretty well, everyone. I, I think it did very well. And so we're going to see how it does on these dirt roads, dirty Tesla style. Shout out. Um, Corvette over there. But Cor Corvette can make it here. Any car can make it here. Put around that car well. I'm going to have to find... It should be on the right, I think they said, their campsite. It should be somewhere close to where this navigation point ends. So we have a little bit to go. Unfortunately, um, <laughs> dirt road doesn't do very well. It used to stay, it doesn't have a line in the road, so I think this is a single lane road. It used to stay further to the right, so this is going to give us some good data. I'm not going to do any snapshots. Because if I do have cell signal, <laughs> we might consider watching Netflix or something. Okay, yep, we're on the wrong side of the road here. Oh, I hate, hate that it goes up to the 25 again. I don't want it to go... The 25 for my car is too fast on this road. Uh, because I, my suspension just can't take it. it. There are... Well, this road is smoother than the last time I was on it. Uh, there are a whole bunch of random potholes that I do not want to get on. Yeah, don't turn turn towards the people, yo. The pothole right there. And then it goes up to 25 mile an hour again. I guess we're paved right here for some reason. Oh, there's a cabin right there. I didn't realize that. It seems to have a hard time right here for some reason. I don't know why it's going on the left side of the road. We're going to disengage. It has to be on the left side because there are people walking on the road right here. Give them some space. Give them some space. Should have gave space sooner for those people right there, and it should just go ahead and get back towards the right. I see. I wish they would kind of take in and like I'm trying to move the wheel towards the right. I kind of wish the car would be like, okay, the humans keep on moving the wheel towards the right. Let's try moving towards the right and see if they stop. And so, basically, once I I stop moving, trying to nudge the wheel, I would kind of move the wheel towards the direction I want it. You know, give like a 10% either direction uh, allowance. Like here, it's going in the middle of the road too close to those people um definitely too close to that them i think right here might be the babel tower i'm pretty sure this is the trailhead for the babel tower not exactly positive um but uh download like guide gps or old trails one of those apps and you'll definitely have the have it on there i'm just trying to find where our campsite would be here. Okay, so that's not us. Okay, see, so a little bit rough. Once the car detects it goes that, it just needs to slow right down. It needs to have, it obviously has its accelerometers and stuff in the car to know, know if that's happening. I think it does at least. Um, 
and there's a car behind me so we might be ending this ending this video here and um then we'll regroup at the very end of uh And then we have to get around this cyclist here, and I'm not gonna let full self drive and do that. Go ahead and manually drive here. Problem is, I don't know where our campsite is. A big dip in the road right there, and see it. This is going to be very difficult, I think, for full self driving to navigate these type of blind hills and corner situations um, when time comes. I think it's going to be very difficult for it to figure that out. See, I'm going 25 now in here, but I don't know if I trust full self driving because there's rocks jutting out and the works. I don't know if I trust it to go in here. Let me start getting over some lumpy stuff. It's gonna be, this is gonna be so difficult for the computer to, to do one day. Cause it needs to be able to see those, those washboards, it's called washboards in the road. And a car needs to be able to see it. If it doesn't see it, it just needs to like know, hey, we're going way too fast for this, this area. And slow, slow way down. I hear it, because now there's cars coming. And it needs to go and I don't know why this car decided to stop here. Wood wagging. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, interesting. I think I'm going to call it here, everyone. Oh, that's why they stopped. This is only a one-way section right here. That full cell drive, and have to navigate that, too. That's, it's very interesting. Um, this is... I, I don't expect FSD to get this for at least a couple years. It, it might. I'd be very surprised if they get this within a couple years. This type of, like, having to let cars go by... Having to like navigate with all the leaves on the ground, the potholes, you can, I can hardly see them. Yeah. Ooh, I'm wondering. I don't know where our campsite is. I'm gonna, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna end it here, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Our next video is gonna be uh, of camping. I might put that on my other channel. Um, but we'll see. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, put them down below, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, everyone. Actually, well, let's hold on here. Ooh, I don't know if I can make it up this. Oh, crap. Um. Maybe. Let's see. Don't have the height for that. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna figure this out. Ooh, ooh. Okay, it's just dirt. Thankfully, it's just dirt. Okay, I think this car obviously knew I wasn't gonna make that. Um, so we're gonna figure out how to pull us off on the side of the road here, and we're gonna turn around. Okay, bite one. Everyone, this is what I'm trying to make it over. It's hard to tell from the video, but you can see some dips in the road. I was bottoming out. Right here is where I was bottoming out. It's really hard to see, but this is like a, a solid foot dip in the road right here. I think I can make it if I go right here and right here. My friends are walking down the hill. So they're, we're just not much further out, they said. Fortunately, we have cell signal right here, but I think I can make this. I just had to go very slow and have them guide me. But yeah, this is... um. In need of a cyber truck. <laughs> I think um, that uh, that's definitely gonna be my next Tesla. It's a cyber truck. I think in um, I think maybe five years. I think I can do a cyber truck. I want this car. This car will be paid off in two years from now. In exactly two years, this should be paid off. And I want a couple years of new car payments. Would be very nice. 
um, save up for the Cybertruck, get a couple other things fixed up on the house. Maybe buy some more Tesla stock, I don't know. Um, this area is gonna be very sketch, especially with, uh, this is one area where real wood drive does not do very well. Um, we'll see how this truck goes up and over it. Um, he's probably just gonna go right up and over. Nice having ground clearance. No problem. <laughs> no problem at all. Yeah, Cybertruck. Gonna have way more clearance than that. 16 inches of clearance, my goodness, it's gonna be amazing. This is where I'm gonna go for my, one of my first camping videos. This is gonna be gorgeous. This is like, just anywhere along here. See that truck down there? It's a camp spot. Anywhere along here, you can just camp. In any of these spots, the Pisgah Forest Wilderness, you can just camp anywhere. So it's pretty awesome. It's much colder here too. It's like 72 down at the bottom before we started going up the hill. And now it's 64 and windy, really windy. It's gonna stay this windy and get windier overnight. I'm gonna walk up the hill and meet up with my friends. Hello everyone. We are leaving our campsite here. And I'm, this is gonna be the second or third video I suppose. We're gonna see how full self driving handles its way back. Obviously, the gravel road is gonna be less than ideal. Oh, huh. well, clearly, I didn't like that. I do have some dirt over everything. Hmm, I need to fix that. Okay, so we, we made it over that, everyone. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pull our mirrors. You get this. This is what's rattling. This is part of a stove windscreen, camping windscreen. Just trying to. way to keep it from rattling. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a long, long, long time because it's gonna have to seal the divots in the road. And that's 100% required even for level four to be able to see all these divots in the road and it's slowed down to an appropriate speed so you're not bottoming out your car and absolute bs if you're going to use an excuse oh this car shouldn't be going on this road there was a lowered bmw that was lower than my car that literally right before we left just drove by and it made it up this hill somehow um so th that's a poor excuse any car like this should be able to make it up this hill as long as it drives in the right spot. That has to happen for true level 4 and level 5. Maybe that can be considered level 5, but um, it has to be able to make it. So you got this um, Camaro going up. 
and it's it's pretty low to the ground as well. That's gonna have a fun time where I had to go over. This is probably not good for my safety score because what happens is I start getting up to speed and then I'm gonna find a rut in the road that I can't see until I get up close and then I'm gonna jam on the brakes. And so that causes a lot of like honestly it's it's dumb that it should count against me because I'm like I'm not following too closely. The person behind me is not following all that close either. Funny how the it sounded like the gravel. Um, well, it was dirt. Uh, the, the dirt road was quieter, even though it has all the bumps and everything in it. But like, in terms of like the low frequency road noise, just seems so much quieter on this dirt road than it does on the on the pavement. take a right and hey everyone this is going to be the end of this video i apologize for it not being very well organized but as you can see um full self driving has a very long 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 way to go on uh, travel roads uh, uh, dirt roads and especially ones that regularly are um have divots and washboarding and potholes and everything else inside of it uh, Next video, we're going to start from here, and we are going to have a very special drive. I'm not going to spoil it yet, but uh, I don't think you're going to want to miss it. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.